Hello everyone, I am Jimmy Joe. Welcome back to more Momir. Um, I've been playing this a lot. Haven't really gotten any good games um, to upload, but uh, hopefully we can get some longer than three win streaks going. But I guess we'll see. 90% of my uh, opponents have always tried for one drops and only like three of them that I've been against have gotten Lanoir. Terramander's really good though. Um, I'll go for two drop. I don't care about the scrying. <laughs> uh, Terramander will eventually flip. Um, luckily in this mode they don't have any instants or sorceries so it will literally take them eight mana to adapt it into a five five. Oh, and he's gonna gain life now but it is a one one flyer and flyers are always good um, three Uh, enters the battlefield with one one counter if you attacked. Well, we didn't attack. Let's see if he blocks. If not, I can get in two damage. Most likely he's just going to have the thing to... Uh... Oh, no. I would have kept it. <coughs> would gain life. Whatever. Mentor. Oh, that's going to be decent with the flyer. Won't be able to adapt it, but he'll be able to get it up to a 3-3. Three, three. Um, okay, 1-1 one, one counters each have flying. That'll be cool if we can get some riot creatures. Or if we get up to 7 mana, or 6 mana to adapt it. Because a... Uh, a 4-5 is nothing to scoff at. Crab! That's not in any of those sets. <laughs> yep. I'm probably just going to block this just to reduce damage. He'll probably take the adapt creature. Yep. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, flash creatures. And I can't attack into a 1-6. Maybe uh, Arena just... Or the people at Wizards thought that uh, there weren't enough creatures. So they just decided to throw in some based on... Um, I don't know. Old art. Old cards. <coughs> There's no point in the attack with the 1-1. One, one. Another 1-6. One, Gotta get a flyer. That's not a flyer. Whenever another creature with power 2 or less enters the battlefield, you gain 1 life and draw a card. Well, that would be kind of cool, but... I don't think I'm going to get any more... Two or less on seven. Although this is a six. Ugh, my luck is so stupid. Why? Why do they have all these good cards? All you need is a wall. I mean, this can just block this. All right, let's see if we can stabilize somehow. That's something. Wait, how does this have haste? Other creatures you control have haste. Nice. Well, it is a 6-6. Six, six. So, we'll smash it in. We're still very far behind. Due to the Terramander. 
and he keeps getting bigger creatures. Oh. Why didn't he go for a seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Weird. Attacks with the flyer. Um, we are also going to go with a seven again. I just need things. There we go. That's good. Smash in with those. He's going to have to block. He'll probably block this with this. Just to get it off the field so I don't gain life. Or not at all. This is actually kind of useful. I didn't think it was. But the uh, other creatures you control have haste is really good. Alright. Yep. That's unfortunate. So, nine in the air. I wonder if I should go for six and see if I can get that Vigilance uh, Angel. The indestructible one, so I can just swing in with everything. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I need a flyer. Or something that will help me deal with that thing. I die next turn, so everything go. Oh, I don't die next turn. Oh, I forgot about the healing. No, now I die because I don't have any blockers. All right. I completely forgot about the uh, Verdant Sun Avatar. Is that what that, drag that, that dinosaur is? Acha, pass. And Acha, and. And there we go. Two. All right. So we skip three. Immediately go to four. That's not bad. Eighteen more turns with that uh, miscloaked herald. And we will skip five and go to six. <laughs> oh, Rakdos. Well. That's fine. I can't block this, but I deal six damage in the air every turn. We race a lot better than he does. Search for your equipment or vehicle. All right. Shovels his deck. Doesn't read his card correctly. We will go for a seven. Yay! We're gonna do this and go. Hiya! Wrecking Beast is pretty good. Riot is pretty good in this uh, in this set. Prosperous Pirates. Interesting. Well, three, four, five, six, seven next turn. 
Well, we win because, well, if he doesn't... He's going to block some of it. What is this? I don't have anything in there, so... Uh, yeah. Win next turn. If he doesn't get anything good. He can make an eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's pretty good. And he realizes that he loses and scoops it up. Hey, we got a pack. Let's open a pack. I like packs. I like getting new things. And it's a uh, Zagana. That's okay. Ponzel. Uh huh. Well, and pass. And pass. And two. Burglar rat. Nice. <laughs> that puts him a little bit farther behind. Puts him equal with me because I got I was on the draw. Or no, I was on the play, and he drew a card. So we have the exact same cards now. Mm, becomes blocked, deals one damage to the player or planeswalker it's attacking. Okay. Probably skip five this game. Alright, sounds good. You can't sacrifice my creature, you have to pick your own. You, you can't sacrifice my creature, you have to pick your own. Thank you. Um, we will go for four, because Tesa is a sweet lady. No, it is not a Tesa. We will attack. There's a lot of pirates that actually give you treasures. What is that? Sunder Shaman can't be blocked by more than one creature. When it deals combat damage to a player, destroy target artifact or enchantment that player controls. Well, we'll use our treasure for a six this turn. I did say we were going to skip five. We just got a... Oh, okay. Uh, that's fine. That'll block that Sunder Shaman all day. Could also kill that uh, Raptor. Alright, that's not fair. Make another 6 drop. I didn't gain anything from that no attacks but we got three in the air I'm gonna have to chump this 10 10 oh all right we're gonna chump the 10 10 here and we're gonna make him kill this dude. Oh, right, you can only block with one. That's okay. And a seven. Ooh, that one's good. That one will win it for us. Uh, I can't swing in. 
I would rather have chunk blockers. I will swing in for three. That's pretty good. When it dies, you get three 1-1 one -one flyers. I'm okay with you attacking with the 10-10. Throw this under the bus. We're gonna play the land. And then we're gonna attack like this. So if he wants to kill it, he has to throw, let's see, everything, and he still can't, he still can't, uh, Throw everything under the bus and... Yeah, that's not gonna be very good. I'm gonna chump everything and then swing in for the seven again. And yeah. Nezahal's good. I'm probably gonna take some damage here if he swings in a bunch. He might not swing in at all and leave the 10-10 back. Nope. We are going to take 10. Perfectly fine with that. We're going to make an 8, right? Yep. Ha! <laughs> <And> there's game! <laughs> nice. Four runners. What a clutch card. We would have had that anyway. Two wins. Let's see if we can get some more. Rather not lose out on two wins every single time, but we'll see. Well, that's 2-2. Two -two. What is our 2-2? Two -two? It's not. It's a 1-3. No! I've been waiting for that forever. Forever. <laughs> I wanted the incubation druid for the last, like, 12 games I've played. It's not fair. When it uh, gains menace, target creature gains. Oh, tiger vampire gains menace. Well, no point in attacking there. So he needs five mana. This is a ma this is a mana. So he needs one more land, and then he can adapt this. That's a highly underrated card, but it's really good. Um, four. That's just a four, four. Um, no attacks, I guess. Probably going to adapt that. No? I would have adapted it, because the next turn he would have had 5 mana, plus 3. He would have been at 8 mana. That would have been a lot better than getting a 4-1, even though it's a good flyer. We're going to skip 5, I think. And he hasn't read his cards. We go 
four, six. Ooh, Dream Eater. That's cool. And we are going to bounce the... Oh, I really want to bounce the Incubation Druid. Yeah, that's fine. Because this can be blocked by this. Um, I will attack with these? No. I'll attack with just that one. Get rid of that thing. So the Starkhound Stag, if you don't know what it does, is when it attacks, it taps down a creature. Uh, the defending player controls, and that's really good. Niv. I, yeah, I'm going to block this. And we go for seven. Nezahal's okay. <coughs> Niv's, Niv Mizzet is going to slowly kill us. <laughs> it's a guaranteed one damage a turn. Doesn't do anything else other than be a sweet fly 5-5 five, five flyer. But, oh, Alright, we lost. Yep, I don't know how we can stabilize from this. Um... Eight. Probably should have did a seven. But, uh, verdant force. That's fine, I guess. Gives chump blockers. <laughs> or not. That's also fine. And we lost! Because... Reasons. No! No! Well, whatever. I clicked through things too fast. Because I wanted to do 8 instead of 7. Yep, and Niv Mizzet goes to 1. Well, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough of Momir. Let's see what we got. Probably nothing good. Oh, we got a rare. Pet, pelt Collector's good. Sweet. And 150, so I can play again. All right. Thanks for watching. Remember to check out my channel for the other playthroughs. And uh, hope you have a great day. Bye.